Hey guys, Paulstron here. And today let's talk about a new unique that I think is going a little bit under the radar. I know people have been using it, but in general, I don't think it gets quite the amount of play that it deserves. And that is Utula's Hunger. I think for Softcore, this might be one of the, if not the strongest new unique item that a lot of people have in their arsenal that they don't even know about. The only person who I've seen really talk about it was Wolfio. And if you look on PoE Ninja, 0.4%. Obviously, there's some people who play it, but I don't think it's reflective of how good the chest actually is. Now, first, let's quickly examine the item. So it's a unique chest that has armor base, right? Which is decent. It has like around about a thousand armor. It has recovered life on kill, which can be good for some builds. Stunned block recovery is whatever. Then you have the big payoff, which is 700 to 1,000 maximum life if there are no life modifiers on other equipped items. Now, what does live modifier mean? So if you press Alt in game and you look at the last mod here, you can see that this is a life modifier, right? So it doesn't allow any other equipped items to have any of that. Now it says other equipped items, so just FY, if you get a corruption on this, for example, maximum life, you can still keep that. But for example, right now you can see a 5.9k life and this has a life mod on it, right? So if I press Alt, it's life. Just so you know though, life mod is not just maximum life, it can also be other unique effects. Like for example, you cannot use this with Wrath Pith Globe because it has maximum life and there's some other mods that count as life so always make sure and press alt before especially some uniques right so if i put this on you can see the life from my body armor is disabled however equipped items are only everything you have here and it does not count for jewels so as you can see right here if i scour this and i have no more life mods i go back to my hp and this one has hp though right so this is not a life modifier on an equipped item though it's just a socketed item, so it would not count and I could still use it. So why do I think this chest is so interesting? Well, there's a few points. First up, it's a unique, so it can have corruptions, right? You can get up to plus four on it, which is obviously crazy. That's a lot of damage. But where I see this chest really being used is in a lot of janky softcore builds that are more on the right side of the tree. So very often when you're on the right side of the build, what you have is something like Hex Blast, right? You get some spell suppression, you get evasion right but you have almost no physical mitigation you can't get as much life as everybody on the left side because you're not scaling strength really you maybe get like 130 percent life right and what you will end up with is a build with round about 4.5k life and maybe you're going to try to combat physical damage a little bit with a cloak of flame or like a taste of hate but that is like as much soft core defense as you can get now with a lot more investment you can get more tanky and you can have immortal builds on soft core no question but where i see a lot of people on soft core struggling is they want to get their build to a point where they are comfortable right and still do damage and still have movement speed that is the hard part to do and the way you do that is with low effort defensive Layers. Race and evasion is a perfect example of that. Spell suppression is a perfect example on, of that when you're on the right side of the tree. But getting out of your way to get fizz taken as or like getting armor on the right side of the tree can be pretty hard to do. And especially hard to do is getting a lot of life. I try and make a lot of builds where I want to cram some uniques in, but then halfway through I realize if I want to play five uniques, I'm going to have like no HP anywhere. I'm missing all those life rolls. Well, guess what this chest fixes exactly those janky builds. It is quite hard to get flat life in certain builds that want a lot of uniques. And I see this especially in something like cast on crit which i'm going to roll next a lot of the cast on crit builds that want to be semi tanky or at least have a decent tankiness they go for lightning coil right which is nice but it's only physical damage i see this as a strictly better lightning coil for softcore where do i see that being used i think once again it's good in builds that need a lot of uniques for example my next build is going to run two unique rings a unique helmet and like a few other pieces right and this would not be possible without that chest i would literally fall to like i don't know 3.7k life with the chest i'm at a healthy 6k life now where i see this chest good as well is in hybrid spell builds mostly because it saves you prefixes first up you might say well i just want the val regalia get my eldritch implicits that's probably going to be better and while that might be the case don't forget that you actually get a ton of extra es from corrupted soul if you scale your life higher same with melding right so what I'm basically trying to say is the more important your prefixes are, because those are the ones you save by not having to get life, and the more uniques you need, obviously they have to be uniques that actually have no life mods, the better the chest will be. And I once again think that this chest will fit into a ton of softcore builds that work on right side of the tree, especially spellcasters, once again for the gem levels, that kind of work in like 
this region. So while I think there's a lot of good use cases, some things that you can't do is first up Wrath Pith, right? You would think about life stacking, but you cannot because it has a life mod. Pretty obvious, but tanky builds probably also don't want it. Now I'm saying this mostly because a lot of tanky builds use stuff like aura effect or flask effect or max res, which you get from Eldritch Implicits. Or you use a unique chest like Fourth Vow, right? And in those situations, you very often just cannot really take that away. And you need more than just life stacking. You need like layers upon layers upon layers to get really, really tanky. And just stacking a bit of HP on top will probably not do the trick. But yeah, that's about it. If you are like me and you're not looking for an immortal build, you don't want it to be too squishy, but you want it to be somewhere in the middle where it feels comfortable, I think this chest will do wonders for you. Maybe try it out, maybe POB it for whatever build you want. But um, since I still don't have a slogan, see you next time.